Greetings, Light Tribe. Janine Palmer here, Spirit Silver Moon for Harmony Energy Healing. And today I want to talk about collective energies. And this is inspired by um, the idea, the notion, the perspective, the truth of um, collective prayer or meditation. Um, and so some people do it regularly anyway uh, every day they're in prayer they're in meditation which is good for the soul um but there are certain groups who come together for prayer chains or um prayer groups meditative groups uh, because there seems to be it seems to be quite powerful if it's done in mass if it's done in that group setting there's a story that I heard, and I'm sorry I don't remember the details of it uh, very well. I don't remember the exact details. But in my energy healing training, um, someone was giving a talk, and um, there was a man, I think it might even be in connection to a famous book, and some people might know, but um, if you do, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But there was a, he was giving a talk in kind of, in a group setting, there was an audience, and there was a girl there who was not well. And I think, if I remember correctly, she uh, didn't even know if she would survive long enough to graduate high school. Uh, whatever her condition was, I don't remember. But he asked the audience, however big that was, to collectively send her healing. Um, healing, love, good vibration, good energy, prayers, whatever it was. And the entire audience did this. And later, he hears from her later, I don't know if it was a couple years, a few years, it must have been a few years later, not only did she graduate high school, I, I think she went off and did college and um, even married and had kids. So there are miracles that happen, okay? And if that burst of that collective good energy helped her enough, even if her belief in it um, was enough to make a shift uh, for healing to occur on whatever level it was needed. So this is an interesting thing where um, it's wonderful that, that we all do it uh, out of compassion and grace and beauty and love. But sometimes there are groups that will uh, set up a time to do it collectively because um, it either is more powerful or it can be more powerful. Um, so this is just a remind, reminder about that if anyone's interested in looking for these groups, joining these groups, creating these groups. Um, whatever we do on our own individually is beautiful and wonderful and helpful as well. Um, but it's just something to consider. Because sometimes you know, you've heard other people say that uh, they started a prayer chain for someone who was ill, and it, they they got better, which might have happened anyway, but it might have helped. And so some people have more proof for things like this than what I'm describing here. Um, and so I also wanted to just talk about our interaction with people and our perceptions of things. Because sometimes we sense something by a tone or by words or by feelings or something that we sense. And maybe we're wrong and maybe we're not, we're not wrong. Um, and so sometimes we uh, respond from a place of, uh, respond to what we perceive something to be. And hopefully most of the time we're doing our best from that area, whatever it is, but sometimes we don't understand something and sometimes we respond falsely. And, and maybe we don't know that until later unless and until we reflect on reactions on both sides, responses, reactions, feelings, whatever it is we're sensing. And so, so sometimes we don't understand something and um, that's okay that we don't understand it. Uh, but I like it when it occurs to me to reflect on 
Maybe not just something that someone did or said and, and what that felt like or what it seemed like. Sometimes we know, sometimes we don't know. Um, but when I reflect on, okay, this is what I thought it was and this is what I did or said or what my energy or my tone was. And so um, if it was what I thought it was, then that would probably have been appropriate as a form of communication um, or not, depending on how people respond or react. Um, but if I was mistaken, then my tone would have been inappropriate because I was responding or reacting to what I thought something was, which might not have been what it was. Um, but sometimes there's a little bit of both going on there. So there's a little bit of truth to what we thought, but maybe it's not as much of a thing as we thought. And so, um, our tone is going to reflect, um, I don't know how to say that, but like, uh, where we've been with something and where we're at with it now. And that's going to reflect something. It's either strength, a boundary, um, a trigger, a wound, something that is there for a reason that may or may not need to be there. Um, and so with different people, we've had different experiences and sometimes we let people back into our space after we've had a not good experience with them. And, um, we might be shown that there's certain things that there's reasons why it, there was an issue before, and it's going to keep uh, presenting itself through a tone or an energy or a behavior pattern or something that there's something that's just not you can't work it out. So sometimes people can um, work together with each other through whatever their personality quirks are, whatever their issues are, whatever their wounds, their scars, um, their strengths, their weaknesses, um, whatever it is that we flow with and hold space for or judge and block or whatever it is. So some people can flow with a friend and um, know that there's something there and work with it. Okay where there's still communication, where there's still understanding, where there's, you know, where people can be forgiving um, and not hold it against them. And that's tricky. So also with, with this time, with regard to the, um, the collective prayer or meditation, the time that I'm making this video is this time of lockdown. It's the time of this humongous world shift, really, that some people are aware of and some people might not be. And so, uh, what energy are we in and what is affecting us? Um, so the, it's, if, if the collective energy is more of one of fear and panic and attack and meltdown, or is it more one of calm and peace and love and healing or patience or whatever, uh, we can reflect on what that is, uh, for us. So again, it's about choice. Uh, what energy do we go into? What energy, energy do we move out of? Um, how does it serve us? What have we learned from it? Are we even there yet? Some people just aren't there. Some people who are more on that vibration will know what I'm talking about, understand it really well. And other people will be like, you know, it's a foreign language. They don't know what I'm talking about. So right now are a lot of people like uh, got the TV going in the background and all the doom and gloom and the numbers they're throwing out there, which may not be accurate depending on, um, you know, how, so there's numbers that fly around who gets those, who determines their right? How often do they change? Um, they gotta be throwing something out there for the shock factor. So, um, if that's what's in the energy, which is drawing people into this whole fear-based thing where they're afraid to go out, they don't want to be around other people. They're so afraid of losing something or experiencing something or surviving something that they, they're just shutting down. So. I guess the way I'm trying to say this is we can focus on the fear or we can be, um, we can act in some way, like my friend says, act rather than react. Um, but to be creative because like right now, um, art and dance and music 
uh, in whatever form, uh, you know, writing, poetry, reading, things like this, where we are being creative um, and letting something flow through us that's healthy. Okay, so that's a, a good place to be is to be in a creative space right now instead of a lockdown, uh, letting that stuff come into your space from something that's lower vibrational that either puts you in fear or keeps you in fear. Um, so collective energies, is it fear and worry or is it going to be peace and calm? Because it is choice and it has to do with our thoughts, our thought forms, you know, uh, our perspectives, because if we're not changing perspectives, then we might stay stuck in something that's not for our highest and best good. So if this is a time of raising vibration, of shifting, of uh, people taking the time to slow down and just reevaluate, reconsider something, what is important. And if you were going to change your life from what it was, from something that wasn't working, what would that be? Um, if you could move to something that um, resonated with you more, that would be a choice. Uh, if you choose not to go there, you're going to stay over here. So if, the, if it's a world split, then it's it's by choice. And these you're being tested. This is a massive initiation. It's a test. So anyway, I didn't mean for this video to be that long, but I just want to talk about collective energies and um, the power of prayer and meditation and how we interact with people uh, with regard to what we do or don't understand because there's so much misunderstanding. It's so much misunderstanding. And if we can just be patient and kind to of people and when we can work through commun communication um, from a place of wanting to um, nurture that friendship, that's wonderful. But if we're gonna sit there and, and you know, try to deflect shit and, you know, not, uh, you know, I'm trying to figure, find a way to say it, but like where we um, hold things against people, then we're not going to be able to maintain those friendships. Peace.